What's up, everybody? I'm here to grace you guys with my presence, okay? Um, and talk all things call center because that's just my lane and that's what I like to teach. That's what I like to do. So this video, whatever time you're coming in, you're going to be able to go to my YouTube channel and watch it. Um, I also dropped a new YouTube video today about how I got off of the, um, well, not off, but expanded from the Arise platform because if you know, then you know, Arise has many restrictions and Arise is typically catered to people in the States, like the United States. And um, they say they're out in Canada, Jamaica and India, but you can't hire out there. Like everybody knows you can't hire out there. And it's certain states on Arise that you can't even work. So I'm the type person, type woman. OK, I'm pretty sure some of you guys are on here. Y'all don't like to be told no and y'all don't like to be limited. So when an opportunity that I know I have been called to presents itself, I've been in the um, telecommunications industry since 2017. Um, fast forward 2024, I'm now going off of the Arise platform. So with that being said, um, Arise has its restrictions. Arise is good, what it's good for. I tell people Arise changed my life. So I'm never going to act like Arise is not what it is. It's just Arise has, you know, got a little different over the years, just like any business, any economy. I mean, I'm surprised they ain't even shut down. Some businesses, they just lose the, the momentum with how the world, the pace of the world, and then they just, you know, end up closing down. But one thing about Arise that I feel that people um, like about it is that you do have access to different companies, Fortune 500 companies that you don't have to propose to. You don't have to bid for. They're already on the platform as soon as you sign on. It's like a no brainer. You can add your call center on there. You can hire agents to work. So I really think Arise is staying afloat by the people like me, OK, that is putting people onto the platform so that they can work. That's what I really think is keeping Arise afloat because Arise, if y'all go to Arise social media page. Ooh, I just caught this. If y'all go to Arise social media page, and if you don't know what Arise is, drop in the comments. I don't know what you're talking about. If you know what Arise is, comment, you're right on. I know what you're talking about. Many people know about the Arise platform. Some people don't. But anywho, you go to the Arise social media, they don't promote. They don't market. Like, they're not marketing... Um, they're not marketing at all when I think about it. So like how y'all getting y'all people, you know what I'm saying? It's honestly IBO's business owners like me bringing thousands of people to y'all platform and y'all eating off of us. But I'm cool with it because I'm eating too. So it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey, it's been two weeks since I've emailed. I haven't gotten a response. Email about a job? Anybody got a call center that I have trained that is hiring right now that y'all can help that person out because we have thousands of applications that we're going through so you guys like i like telling me that you emailed me which you're not even talking to me when you email me it's not going to make me jump on my feet and make sure that you're like that's not how this is everybody wants the opportunity just like you nobody is coming before the next person so anybody that's hiring right now that y'all can get this person y'all website because I got students that's hiring. I don't know why y'all be wanting to work under me so bad. Like I got people that I have trained that has a call center that is hiring. Your girlfriend works for them, their office. Yeah, they have an office out here in Atlanta too. Um, but um, yeah, but if you're on my live like you are right now, I've been said that we got a surplus of applications when I was supposed to do a soft lunch. And I've been telling you guys that it's not going to be 48 hours. 48 hours is when we're getting like 100 applications or 50 applications. But God blew on my business and that's just what it is. So I don't need you guys every time y'all come on my live to tell me or remind me like I'm not on my team already trying to get these thousands of applications going through. So just be patient. And I've said that on multiple videos, like stop coming to my lives asking me about that. It's frustrating. And yeah, I'm saying what I said, because I'm not a robot. I'm definitely human. All right, so anywho, yes, I do training. So let's get into what I'm talking about. So anywho, Arise has its restrictions or whatnot. Arise is a cool platform. I tell people I have a whole three hour, four hour training on YouTube. If you're trying to start out on the Arise platform, go watch that video. It's a really good video. Um, it t teaches you literally everything you need to know. When y'all be commenting how to do payroll, I'm, I mean, I'm talking probably like 20 to 30 minutes on payroll. Actually showing you guys how to do payroll in that video. That's the training that people will pay me thousands for that I ended up putting on YouTube. Because again, 
I don't mind sharing the information. I don't mind giving y'all the whatever that y'all need. The only time I charge people is to have access to me, access to my time, access to pick my brain. No, you can't take me to lunch and pick my brain. No, you're going to have to pay that consultation fee. You want me to mentor you, you're going to have to come out of pocket and pay for that. However, I know it's some geniuses on here that know how to execute information on their own. I was one of those people, YouTube University. If y'all gave me the sauce, y'all gave me the blueprint, I'm going to run the play. I don't have to have people to hold my hand and walk me through the steps, walk me through the process. So if you're that type of person, I promise you, after you go watch that YouTube training, you will be able to start your call center on the Arise platform and you will be able to start hiring at zero dollars. No startup costs, no upfront fee. I just put y'all onto a whole business. That's why I don't respect nobody, respectfully, that acts like want, 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 woe it's me with this whole victim mentality. Nobody is coming to save you. There's so many resources out here. It's so many other lanes that I'll be looking at that be like coming up on my timeline. I'm like, that's a dope business. Like, I'm never going to do it. But the fact that they be teaching y'all and showing y'all this stuff and it's like, it's no excuses. It's 2024. Like, let's just do more. Like, for real, it's 2024. We got to get to the bag. All right. So the link is in my, um, you're an IBO for Carnival. Only for Carnival? Or you, um... Yeah, 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 only for Carnival, but the YouTube page is in my profile. Link is in my profile. You guys will actually see the link to my newest video that I posted today, um, talking about a little of how I got off the Arise program. Um, also, how you guys can start your call center, not only on Arise, but overseas. And that's what I'm about to come on this live and talk about, to give some people some more information on what that looks like, how a call center can be lucrative, how you can scale it to seven figures, even eight figures. One of my students told me, um, the, the call center that they were working for, right? A call center out in St. Lucia, um, Canada, in the States as well, um, Bahamas, um, Dominican Republic, a call center business, right? They do like um, auto loans and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of stuff they do. They do like auto loans. And um, they, um, she was saying last month, they made 10 billion in sales. And their boss, at the time was like, um, oh, you guys, we're gonna throw a party. We just made 10 billion in sales, the dot call centers. And what people don't understand, when she told me 10 billion, she was like, that's outrageous. All right. But to me, a call center owner, that's not really outrageous. That's honestly like, if you have people like under you, which is what I'm doing at this point, because I'm subcontracting my students to work with me. So it's like the more the merrier. But and slick building a team when I think about it. But it's really easy to scale in this telecommunications call center industry. You got to think about it. And we're going to break down the numbers in a minute. All right. The title of the video, I believe it is. Um, I don't know, but I'm like it's like a chalkboard behind me. And it actually says training step by step, something like that. Um, it shouldn't be too far. It's probably like three videos down. It wasn't too long ago. I did that probably like two to three weeks ago, right? Okay, so anywho, Arise is cool, but listen, we we not putting all our eggs in one basket. We are about to expand, and that's what I'm here to tell you guys on how you can do that. Because Arise is a great stepping stone. Arise is a great way to start, to like get your feet wet, like dip your big toe, all right, into the pool. You know what I'm saying? But it's not the only way and y'all i wish i knew what i know now in this um because y'all gotta understand those of you guys that are new here i used to work on a rise i used to work from home myself thank you i used to work from home for carnival cruise lines i was making 14 dollars an hour i believe i was paying a woman 29.99 to be under her virtual call center one day i was in a training with her and she had like a hundred other students i was like so these are all your students she's like yeah so i'm like hold up if she's getting 30 bucks out of our paychecks bi-weekly and she got a hundred plus people in training with her this woman, she making some money and residually like every two weeks when we get paid, this woman taking out 30 bucks. You know what I'm saying? So like I never questioned the fee. I never cared. But my mom friend had told me one day how I can start my call center on the rise platform. This is back in 2017 going into 2018. And at first I didn't really care to do it until I was like, hold up, this woman, she making some money like some of y'all, y'all might be like, that ain't no money. But to me, residual income is where it's at because that means that you're not depending upon a sale. You're not depending upon a commission. You're not depending upon somebody to send you the money. It's like, you know, for a fact, you got this contract for a year. 
Throughout this entire year, every two weeks, bi-weekly, my agents are getting paid and I'm getting paid. By the way, you guys, I have hired over 1,700 people on the Arise platform and my fee is $49.99. So hers was $29.99, mine is $49.99. So back then, made a post on Facebook, who wanna work from home, post went crazy. Um, then pandemic hit, it went even crazier. And then post pandemic, now everybody just spoiled. They wanna work from home. Nobody wants to go into the workplace nowadays. Like if you really wanna go into the office, you just really gotta love your job, kudos to you. But most people like to work out the comfort of their own home. They wanna wake up in the morning and be able to, you know, um, go to the gym, go get some coffee, go make some tea, go take care of the kids, you know what I'm saying? Some people don't wanna put their kids into daycare. You got stay at home moms, moms with new born, stay at home dads. You got college students that's like, man, this tuition, bro, I can't even afford a pizza. I need some extra income. And now they see your call center. So like post pandemic, before pandemic, call center went crazy, but I was introduced to telecommunications by working at a call center under a woman um, for Carnival Cruise Lines. She was taking 30 bucks out my paycheck, and I don't care about any of that. Like, that's 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 how this game goes. Like, you, you know, you got to pay wherever you're going to be working at. Any brick and mortar that you work at, this is one of the rebuttals that my students ask me. What do you tell them when you let them know that you're taking a fee bi-weekly out of their paychecks? Mind you, the agents are 1099 agents, meaning that they don't pay any taxes. Like, like you make what you make per hour and the only fee that's taken out is your call center fee. So like some of my students, their call center fee may be $49.99. Most of them just, you know, follow what I've done. Some of them $69.99, $29.99, $19.95. Like it just depends what you want to make on a residual basis. You know what I'm saying? So um, one of the rebuttals be like, so how do you explain to them? I told them we don't. You have to pay. So the fact that we're only taking 40 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever your call center fee is out of your paycheck bi-weekly. It's not like we asking for it up front. You make the money, we take the fee out, and that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? So anywho, I tell them, you don't go back and forth explaining your fee to nobody. Anybody that's on my live right now that's wondering what will be the, re the, the response back to that rebuttal, you don't, you don't explain that to them. Tell them, go work for Bob and Joe. Tell them they're still going to have to pay. They're still going to get taxes and fees out of their paychecks. They're going to look at their paycheck before the taxes and fees came out. They made 2000 and some dollars. By the time them taxes and fees come out, you'll paycheck 1400 Do you go ask Bob and Joe that? No, you don't. So you're not going to ask me that. And that's just that. All right. So anywho, um, that's how I got introduced into this whole telecommunications industry on the Arise platform. You must be assertive. That's the only thing that people respect. Um... So that's how I got started on the Rise platform, right? So I ended up um, for since 2018 going into 2023. The reason why I say 2023, because going into 2024, I started doing my research on how I can scale off the Rise platform. Let me just tell you guys something. I didn't find nothing, nobody doing what it is that I'm doing. All right. That brings me to my video that I'm going to post tonight on YouTube that you have to find your lane and kill it. You can't look to the left and look to the right. There's not like I can't go to YouTube University to, to find out how to do what it is that I'm doing. I had to sit down with my pen and paper and say, God, listen, I know you called me to telecommunications. However, what is it? I don't want to be stuck on a rise platform. I'm tired of these restrictions. Certain states not eligible. I want to be able to serve people. I tell people I'm in the business of serving people. Therefore, God serves me. I don't serve. I don't serve money. I don't serve the everything that comes with it because I know it's going to come with it. Like it's, it's money. I was having a conversation with somebody earlier. I said money is the easiest thing that you can make. Like money is the easiest thing. This hair keep getting in my eyes. So my eye getting watery. Um. I was like, money is the easiest thing that you can make. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's easy. It's about how you deal with people. All right. How you treat people, how you communicate with people, how you do business with people. You know, like that's that's what that's what. Well, especially when you believe believer, God cares about how you treat his children. So like you're not about to be mishandling his children. All right. Because you don't know other people's relationship with God and you're not about to be mishandling his children and then thinking that he's about to bless you. So like I really, you know, make sure I take care of people to the best of my ability. I have gotten better. OK, I have gotten turn the curl the other way. I don't know how y'all remember when I was on live in Vegas last week, Super Bowl weekend. And I was. Y'all was trying to help me curl my hair. <laughs> oh my God. I 
Okay, that's just gonna have to work. Cause y'all, yeah, that curl was like, it kept getting in my eye. Okay, that's just gonna have to work. It is what it is, all right? So, anywho, all right. Thank y'all, I appreciate it. Okay, so I just wanna tell you guys my backstory. For those of you guys that are still on here, that means that y'all are interested and y'all ready to start this call center. So let's get to the money, let's get to the numbers, all right? Tell me where y'all from. Drop in the comments where y'all from, what country y'all from, what state y'all from. I wanna know where everybody is from. Um, and let's get into this thing. So, Arise is how I started. Arise is not how I'm about to finish. Arise isn't how I finish. Arise, listen, just because I'm about to tell you guys how to get off of Arise, all right? Well, I'm not going to tell y'all. I'm not about to tell y'all how to get off of Arise. I'm about to tell y'all what I did to get off of Arise. But if you want to know exactly what I did, honestly, I don't have an ebook out. I don't have a course out for you guys to um, figure out how I like do what I do now. I don't have nothing out there because I feel like this is an evolving thing that I'm doing. This is an evolving industry. A lot of people, they can put out an ebook. They can put out a course because it's one and done. Once you buy it, they got your money. They don't care how you do with it. They don't care if you're going to be successful. They don't care if you're going to execute the information. One thing about me, I'm called to to this industry and telecommunications like this is bigger than just a this is what I like to do because it makes me money this is something that I know God has planted me in and I, I thought it was just me working at a call center but I realized it was something bigger like around probably 2020 during the pandemic I realized it was something bigger when people were having domestic violence situations telling me that they're so glad they came across my call center so that they can start making money from home while they man out in the streets I knew it was bigger than me when I had teachers reaching out to me telling me that they um the, the schools was making them get the COVID vaccines and they're so happy that they found my call center because that goes against their beliefs, that goes against their morals. You know what I'm saying? So I knew I was able to be in a position to help people through telecommunications, remote work, work from home. So if you guys are on my live right now and that's something that you like to do, just help people in general. I tell people, you get in the business of helping people, oh my God, you gonna eat. God gonna make sure you eat. Like, it's it's like even hairstylists, lash techs, like you making people feel beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that's that's even God is gonna make sure you good because you serving people, unless you one of them hairstylists that be having attitudes and you be charging all them prices and um all that extra stuff or whatnot. Yeah, then you gonna, you know, um, yeah. But anywho, you guys, I started on a rise. Please start your call center on the rise platform. I teach my students the same thing. They're not jumping the rope. They're not jumping over like the, the things that I did. I only teach what I know. So start the call center on a rise. The training when you guys get off of my live is on my YouTube channel. Three and a half, almost four hours, I believe. You can skip probably to like 30 minutes, 40 minutes when I actually start training. In the beginning, I'm just like talking, talking, whatever, whatever. But 30 to 40 minutes inside that training, I'm telling you guys, you're going to be able to successfully start your virtual call center with no upfront costs, no startup costs, no money. Back in 2018, when I started my call center, I didn't have any money to invest into um, um, a LLC, my corporation, a trademark. I didn't have money for that. I mean, it sounds kind of pitiful now, but I didn't. Like, it is what it is. So I went to IRS.gov. I got my EIN. That was the only thing that I needed for the Rise platform. <clears throat> I made a post on Facebook. Facebook post blew up. I realized I was onto something. Once I got my first set of invoices with the Rise, I took that money that I made from taking out my $49.99 out of their paychecks and I went and got my corporation. By the way, we don't do LLCs, we do S Corps. All right. And we have a call at eight o'clock tonight. Um, if you guys are inside of my membership, we have a call tonight. Um, teaching the i think what's her name liz lizzie lizzie that's her name she's inside of the group and she's going to be teaching she's a tax specialist tax professional because like i said this industry is very lucrative you can get very hemmed up in the taxes i got hemmed up in the taxes those of you guys that do not know the irs froze my funds back in 2022 i literally had nothing like no money like well that bank account only had one bank account I didn't have multiple bank accounts. I'm wiser, I'm smarter now. But back in 2022, that's not even long ago, IRS froze my funds and that was due to me not paying no taxes. <laughs> Y'all gotta think about it. If I ain't had no money to pay for a corporation, how I know how to do taxes, you know? But see, that's why I'm here to tell you guys, don't make the mistakes that I made. I was just happy to be making money back then, but I'm wiser and I'm smarter now, all right? Um, I don't know why y'all here in C-Corps. Again, I've been doing this since 2017. A lot of people that y'all see teaching this stuff, they're not, they're not credible. You shouldn't listen to them. 
Y'all need to check their resume, check their portfolio, see how long they've been doing this thing. Ask them questions. Dig in their brain. Ask them why a C Corp. You know why? Because if you ask them why a C Corp, they're going to get tongue tied and they're not going to know what to say. Do you guys know what C Corps are? C Corps are like Target, Walmart, Amazon, eBay, Barnes and Noble, big corporations, billions. Why would you guys want to be taxed as a C Corp? That makes absolutely no sense. So whoever told you that they're just speaking gibberish and trying to act like they know what they're talking about. But see, that's why I'm teaching off the Arise platform now. I'm going to let them have the Arise platform. That's why I got a whole free training. Save y'all coins. Save y'all money. If anybody trying to charge y'all on how to start your call center on the Arise platform, I promise you my free YouTube video is going to show you more than what that course will ever do, more than what that ebook would ever teach you in real life respectfully, and that's no shade to nobody. All right? So we do escorts, we don't do LLCs. And if you guys wanna join the membership tonight, Lizzie is gonna be on live at eight o'clock to tell you guys exactly how to structure your corporation, which is escort, why we file as an escort, why we tax, why we get taxed as an escort, and why the, be the benefits as an escort. It's better benefits with the escort to avoid that double taxation. That's why we deal with escorts, because we don't wanna get double tax. Link in my bio if you wanna join the membership, it's 99 bucks a month, or you can pay the whole year for 600 bucks or do the $99 option. I tell people you should have at least $100 set aside every single month or every single day, however your bank account look like to invest into skill sets, to invest into a business, to invest into knowledge, to invest into a stream of income that you know is going to change your life in real life. If it changed mine, it's no reason why it's not going to change y'all's. That's why people trust me. That's why people invest with me because my track record is, is, is steep in real life. I'm so glad I'm posting this video on YouTube. They're going to be so hyped on YouTube. They're going to be like, hey. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, you guys, link in the bio for that. But anywho, start the call center on a rise. Now, what I realized with calls, opening a call center outside of the rise platform and targeting other countries is this better profit margin. It's more profit. It's more money. Let's get into these numbers. Mind y'all, if a company like TurboTax is paying me 18 bucks an hour in the States, right? If they're paying me 18 bucks an hour, y'all already know people in the States, they spoiled. They want to make them like a quick, you know, they want to make a quick um, $20 an hour, $15 an hour. They be insulted. They spoiled. Some people be grateful for the opportunity, but you know, nowadays people, they trying to make 20, 25, $30 an hour. One thing I tell people about working at my call center, you can take your degree elsewhere. You're not about to get paid no $30 an hour, sir. That's not happening over here, ma'am, all right, in real life, okay? So, um, anywho, <laughs> anywho, um, if a company's paying me $18 an hour, I have to pay them $18 an hour, you guys. I have to pay them that. I don't make no money on that. If I, if I take a dollar away, okay, cool. That could still be some profit. If I take $2 away, okay, cool. Now they at $16 an hour. But dang, Carnival Cruise Lines, they paying $14 an hour. I can't do nothing with that. I don't make no profit. So that's why one of the ways my call center business was lucrative on a rise is that I would deduct $49.99 out of their paychecks. I don't take any money out of like their actual pay. That's where the money is at. That's what we're about to talk about. All right. So anywho. The companies that I mean, not companies, the countries that I'm now partnering and now out and available in is Belize is number one. Well, no, sorry, Jamaica. Wagwan. Listen, my bad. My bad. Jamaica. Is anybody from Jamaica on his live? My bad. My bad. Y'all know y'all my favorite. OK, Jamaica is number one. All right. Jamaica harassed me so bad that I had to like, I was like, listen, I need the numbers for Jamaica. What is their minimum wage out there? What are we gonna be able to pay them out there? Because they on my tail. Jamaica, like they, they, they ready, they, okay? So Jamaica is one of them. Belize is another one. Dominican Republic, okay, I love Dominican Republic. I'm not gonna leave y'all out. And then the Philippines, of course, the Philippines, all right? Does anybody know why I chose those four, those four countries to start with? Does anybody know? I mean, it's pretty clear because I've been saying it for the past like five minutes. Why? Why did I choose Belize, Jamaica? And I'm pretty sure it's other ones, but these are the four that I started with. Belize, Jamaica, Philippines, the Dominican Republic. Why? Cost of living, really good. Cheaper. 
Yeah. The minimum wage is far less. Yep. English speaking. There you go. Belize. They speak English and um, like like good English. You know what I'm saying? English and um, um, Spanish. We're talking about call centers on here. Yeah, low crime. Yeah, higher profit margin. Ultimately, higher profit margin. But again, what did I tell y'all I'm in the business of? Somebody tell me. What did I tell y'all I'm in the business of? What, what am I in the business of? Let me see who really paying attention. What am I in the business of? Helping. Helping people. Exactly. Helping others. I am in the business of serving people. Therefore, God serves me. Tell yourselves, I'm in the business of helping people. Therefore, God serves me every single day faithfully. He serves me because I'm in the business of helping people. So one thing that it was really just a pain point for me is that I love helping people in the States. America, we already know we got it good over here. All right. These other countries, they're not poor now. Belize, I'm going out there in April and I'm about to have a ball. I'm about to have a blast. All right. And you know, like Jamaica, I have a blast. It's not poor. However, you have certain parts of the country that is not what's the word um less fortunate all right they need an opportunity such as remote work they want to be able to work from home they got babies they want to be able to stay at home with their kids and still make some profit they smart they don't want to have to work hard you know what i'm saying so that's why i ultimately expanded overseas right so Belize, that's good. They English, they Spanish. You got Philippines, they out there. While we sleeping over here in the States, they going to be up. So what does that mean? Any contract that I get that's 24-7, who am I about to get? The Philippine people, right? So I was on, um, when was that? I think yesterday I was saying that I can't disclose the company. Um, well, the company for the contract that I just got with this company. It's a Fortune 500 company. Um, everybody knows of them. Everybody probably has a service with them. I have my service through them but i cannot disclose due to the nda um that i signed with the contract but we went back and forth for like two weeks they were telling me what they're going to be able to pay me of course in my mind i'm like okay uh i'm trying to get as much profit as possible so i'm like mm, the numbers got to make sense so i proposed something else to them um that we end up going back um emailing and exchanging and then we came to a common ground and then I had to sign an NDA. And but my members of my I mean, the students of my membership, they'll be able to know what contract that is, because one thing that I'm doing inside my membership, this is why it's big that pay me one on one, which are my mentees. And then I have my students inside of my membership because it's like a community. We all family. It's like a school. All right. Um, but and you got to get accepted to get in. Everybody can get inside the membership. It's like, well, you can get accepted inside the membership. But it's like if you ain't got no passion, I tell people you don't have to have a passion for telling communications you just got to have a passion for helping people if you're on my live and you're in the business of helping people you're going to do great in telecommunications telecommunications is just another outlet where i'm able to expand i'm able to capitalize i'm able to leverage what it is that i'm good at which is call centers i love it like i love what i do all right but anywho you guys um ended up going back and forth signed the contract with that that was my first contract that i got you guys want to know more about that go watch the youtube video that i posted today about how i really took a leap on faith i tell people i really feel like i started on the Arise platform for as long as I did because Arise is like my crutch. Arise has the companies. I don't have to put myself out there. Um, they're already included with my call center. However, here's the dilemma. I'm restricted. I can't hire in certain states. I can't hire outside the country. So I'm thinking, I'm like, God, I know you call me to telecommunications. Another door has to open. God says, go to that company. I'm like, that company? He's like, Arise is only the middleman. That's just the platform. Arise is no different than you. You have a portfolio. You can propose to these companies. Only the, the, Exactly what Arise do, I did for myself. Showed them my numbers. Showed them what I'm able to provide, the services. Gave them a number of what I would want them to pay me so that it's enticing to them because these corporations, they're not just trying to throw out money. They're trying to save too and got the contract. That's not government contract, by the way. Um, that's com that's government contract is another thing that you're going to be learning inside the membership. And if you are in Atlanta, Houston, Miami, Chicago, Cleveland, D.C., Philly and New York, I'm coming to a city near you starting March 2nd. It kicks off in Atlanta, Georgia. Start the call center tour. I'm going on tour. Go get your ticket. Free general admission. Everybody asks me what's the difference between the free general admission and the VIP. It's no difference in terms of value. You're going to get the value. I mean, you guys get value. 
value on TikTok all day, every day on my YouTube channel. However, the VIP, you will have more access, all right? We have a VIP dinner that night. At the training, you also have um, where you break out uh, from general admission and you go do your content. You gotta go get your photos done. You gotta go get your videos done. You gotta go get your contracts done. All that is happening inside the training. You know what I'm saying? Make it rain then. What's up? Okay. Um, <laughs> but that that's... Um, what else you get? Oh, we have a VIP dinner at this really nice spot. So you can already imagine what that's going to be. Rubbing shoulders. Y'all will be able to ask questions. Y'all can ask away. All right. Um, and that's that's what the VIP is for. But in terms of value, you're still going to be taught how to start your virtual call center, how to leverage your virtual call center and win contracts as well as government contracts. It's not the same. Government contracts is simply through the government contracts, period. It's going directly to the company. And a lot of people, y'all may be like, well, I can't go directly to the company. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all probably ain't got no portfolio. That's why the people in my membership are able to subcontract with me, meaning I get the contract. I get the contract and then they supply the agents. So supplying the agents, people can do with a breeze. It'd be the contract to, um, that they have problems with. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys are in one of those cities, I will be coming to train you guys on exactly what it is that I do for free. Or you can get the um, you can get the VIP ticket, www.startthecallcenter.com. All right. Um, no, it de well, it depends what, what city you're in. Only Atlanta got the itineraries and stuff. Only Atlanta got the itineraries. Yeah, them taxes hidden. Everybody taxes. <laughs> Everybody taxing. Um, no, they don't need no high school diploma and they can have felonies. That's one thing I love. You know, everybody ain't a saint. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make sure I'm not missing no questions. Taking a break to help y'all. I'm not hiring. Absolutely, that's what I. That's what they're going to be learning inside the membership. How to pitch the clients. How to win contracts. One thing about the government contracting though is that you don't have to. The government don't care about your portfolio. They don't care about anything. They just want to know are you able to supply these agents for them. Like that's it. And somebody also asked me, is it like limited government contracts for call centers? No, it's hundreds, it's thousands. It's going to always be $100 a month and it's not going to be available soon either. All right, cool. All right. So anywho, one way is going directly to the contract. I mean, going directly to the company and proposing that you can supply such and such amount of agents, the companies that you don't work with. One thing about being on the Arise platform, this is why can't nobody pay me to talk bad about Arise. When I gave them people my portfolio, I didn't show Arise. I showed the companies that I've hired for. TurboTax, Dick's Sporting Goods, Neiman Marcus, Airbnb, Peloton, um, Carnival Cruise Lines, a Gerald Roadside Assistance, um, MSC Cruise Lines, Princess Cruise Lines. I'm showing these corporations. I'm not showing Arise. Because if you look in the contract of Arise, I'm so smart. I love this for me. When you look in the contract of Arise, all right, because I, I love to look into contracts, okay? Arise states that they are, uh, um, they are not an employment company. Like they do not employ. The company that your agent signs up for is the company that they're working for. So I don't get to, I don't have to show these companies that I'm partnered with through Arise because Arise is the middleman. Arise is just the middleman. They're just a platform. Arise don't have no specialty, no anything whatsoever. So when I gave my proposal to these people, they're like, okay, she done hired for such and such companies. Okay. She don't supply these amount of agents. She don't work with these corporations because, yeah, that's what I did. I hired for these companies, not for Arise. Arise is like the little, um, I don't know, like peeking behind the corner, but like he, he ain't out in the field. All right. He's sitting on the bench. That's what Arise is doing, sitting on the bench. All right. So, um, anywho. Yes, the membership program is 99 bucks a month or you could pay the whole year off six hundred dollars for the whole year. Um because some people don't want to do that month-to-month -month thing. So some people, they just go ahead and do the whole um, 
they just go ahead and, and do the whole year. But then some people are trying to make it affordable to where people, you know, can still get the value, still get the support that they need, still get the content. Like when you guys join a membership, you already have like four videos. And if you miss the one front, if you don't join a membership before eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, it's going to be five videos up in there because we got um, I got one video up in there, which is the call center refresher. The call center refresher is just um, no, I lied. Well, yeah, I got that one up in there. And then I got another video that we did last Friday. We had our um, membership training. That video went from 8 p.m. to like 1 in the morning. When I tell y'all that, that right there, like if I wanted to just sell that um, training by itself, I would charge at least $1,000 for that training that we did inside the membership. But I'm never going to do that. You just got to be in the membership. All right. Um, I got another video on just simply marketing and branding. Marketing, branding, your virtual call center just strictly for that. Um, I have another video up in there. I can't remember. It's another one up in there. But all of these videos total like over eight hours of content. So like I tell people, as soon as you join the membership, you you got work to do. Like you gonna have work to do. You're not just joining and then waiting. No, you got work to do. Um, and I want to say probably starting March, middle of March is when I'm going to close it out because it's kind of like a school. It's like a semester. You don't want to just jump in in the middle of a semester. You're not going to be able to learn, retain. You're going to be too far behind. So it's like I'm giving people the opportunity to join this membership now because in a few, in, 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 in a minute, all right, I'm going to be like, you know what? Anybody that joins now, it's just not going to make sense. Like, I'm not going to be able to train them at like how I would want to. Y'all going to be trying to play catch up. Um, and it's just not going to make sense. I don't care if y'all tell me y'all able to do it. I don't want that on me. Because at the end of the day, y'all going to come back and say, oh, well, Johnsy, she's doing, she's doing, um, John C is over here and she's teaching on government contracts. She's teaching on they're already getting contracts already. And I'm still trying to learn a rise like it's, it's not going to make sense. So like all my students had to start off on the rise platform. All right. Every single student. Um, you don't need any money to start. You don't need no money to start. You don't need no money to start. Literally, is it certain things that you learn each month within the membership? Yeah. So like um, it hasn't even been a month yet. Like <laughs> it hasn't even been a month yet, and it's 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 peep. It's so many people joining like at a fast pace that um, I'm not gonna have them waiting. So it's like again, once I get to the point where I'm like, it's not gonna make sense for new people to join because I'm teaching something else. Um, it's just it's just not gonna make sense. And I don't have an ebook out on this. I don't have a course out on this because I want to be hands on with this. I don't want it to be a one and done some of you guys buy ebooks and courses and y'all don't even execute the information it's just sitting inside y'all email catching dust y'all not on my watch ain't nobody gonna be able to say they got my ebook and course and wasn't able to be successful in this industry nobody not on my conscience it's not happening Absolutely. Are you able to work on um, becoming an IBU on a rise, even though you worked on a rise before? Absolutely. Yeah. So you can. Um, I mean, you you must be you must just join because in the beginning, that's what I said. I used to work on a rise before I started my call center on a rise. So you can definitely um, start your call center on a rise. You just go to my profile information. When you go to my profile and you click information in that right hand corner and you click information, it's going to say register independent business. Then it's going to ask you for your EIN and then it's going to ask you for your name. You put the EIN and then you put the name. Um, How long can you have your EIN before filing? I mean, they don't care. Like they don't care about your taxes. They don't care about anything. Your corporation, they don't care. They're just expecting since you want to be an IBO, you need to go ahead and have those things in place. So like um, I tell people, if you're in a financial position to do so, get your corporation. Some people, they just don't want to spend the money. You got the money. You just don't want to spend it because you think it with a, a mindset of poverty and, and scarcity, 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 tomato, tomato. All right. So, um. Yeah, so S Corp over LLCs. We don't do LLCs. And like I said, tonight at 8 o'clock, we got a call tonight. This is the second call of the first month that we've been in training. This is the second call this month because I tell people your foundation has to be right. You got to have your foundation right. If your foundation isn't right, everything else that you build on top of it is, is going to crumble. So one thing about me, my foundation was was a mess. And that's why the IRS came after me. 
I believe a S Corp in Atlanta is $94 or $99. It's like the same as a um, LLC. It's, it's, and that's the thing. Like, um, some people don't even know. It, it really be the same price as the LLC. Like, S Corps, it's, it's really just knowing which one is better. Um, that's it. I don't know about no other state but Georgia and Florida. <laughs> That's it. And I only know because I'm in Georgia. Do you need an SSN in order to register on a rise from Jamaica? I have an LLC, EIN, no social security number. Um, I have people inside of my membership that are in Jamaica that have a call center on a rise. So I want to say yes. Um, you're able to do that if you're in Jamaica because they definitely are in Jamaica and they definitely have a call center on a rise. So I want to say yes. By the way, you guys, a rise is only for people in the States, the UK and Canada. If you're trying to learn how to leverage off of a rise because you live in another country or you just want to be able to maximize and not be restricted only to the States, you want to be able to be in Belize, Jamaica, Philippines, Dominican Republic like me, you need to join the membership. You have to join the membership. There's nothing you can Google. There's nothing you can research on how to do what it is that I do. There's a reason outside of me just wanting to be hands on and make sure y'all doing what I'm teaching. Um, but the other reason is that I don't want nobody knowing what I do, period. I don't want nobody know what I'm doing. So yeah, it's either 600 for the year, yep, or 99 bucks a month. And I feel like that's just so fair. Like, y'all got 99 bucks a month? Yeah. Y'all got Hulu and Netflix, DoorDash and Uber Eats, and it's just all a mindset thing. Link is in my profile, absolutely. What are the dates for what? Can you launch a virtual call center in Haiti? So I haven't looked into Haiti. I've only told my team to look into Dominican Republic, Philippines, Jamaica, and um, Belize. Those are the only countries that I am just for certain on. Um, but it's bigger than me. So again, I'm not to say like in the future, near future. Um, hold on. I'm not to say like in the future or near future that... Um, Haiti won't be an option. Um, your comment is, how can you apply? Apply for what? I love this. You have a family member in Jamaica that's looking for work. Absolutely. Many people are. So like as far as um, starting a call center in different countries, it just really depends on if the software is even compatible out there, what the internet is like out there, what the pay is like out there. Because again, I'm, I'm picking certain countries because the pay, I have a higher profit margin. When you get contracts outside of Arise, do you just email the agents you have already, say, a job available? Hold on, when you get contracts outside of Arise, do you just email the agents you have already and say a job is available? <sighs> Elaborate that. I'm trying to like get what you're saying. Yeah, the membership, not mentorship, is different. My mentorship is my one-on-ones, how people can work with me, like, just exclusively. My membership, we're just one big happy family, the Brady Bunch, and yeah. Do we have to take into consideration employment laws in different countries, or is it different? No, the only law that you need to be worried about is taxes. That's it. I didn't have to invest into this. Um, I didn't have to invest into this. The call center will be for customer service mainly, um, just inbound calls, no outbound salesy type calls, just inbound customer service type calls. They don't. So my current agents, they don't have nothing to do with my new contracts. My new contracts is like for the countries outside the country. There is no startup cost. 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 The only cost is going to be into me. That's it. The only thing you will ever pay for is knowledge. So the cost would be joining the membership. 
Oh, your corporation. You gotta get your corporation. Gotta get your corporation. My bad. You do gotta pay for that. But outside of stuff like that, I just feel like that's common sense. You know, you need to have your corporation. Um, there's no startup costs. I mean, you can um, you can structure your LLC as an S corp. You just need to hit up your secretary of state or um, uh, secretary of state or however you filed your LLC. Just gotta make an amendment. Do you still have the ebook available? You found me on YouTube. Absolutely, the um, ebook is in the bio. It is only for a rise, though. Just want to reiterate, it's only for a rise. If you want to learn how I train outside of the rise platform, you got to be inside the membership. Did the RSVPs go out for the Chicago tour? Uh uh. No. Only Atlanta RSVPs went out. So let's do some profit margins real quick, all right? So let's say, again, because that's where I was really leaving off at, that people in America are spoiled. They want $18 an hour. They want the whole 15. They want the whole 20. So I don't really have a higher profit margin. I only make money by deducting a fee out of their paycheck. Um, unless it's like, well, not even unless it's like, it's like it's no profit to play with. Um, unless you're only taking out that fee on a biweekly basis. So as far as the states, that's how I eat. All right. That's how I'm able to make money, make profit within the virtual call center business by deducting a fee out of their paychecks, like a fee on a biweekly basis instead of taking off, like trying to profit off of the pay, if that makes sense. All right. So let's say you got Belize. All right. So you got Belize and Belize, we're paying them seven dollars an hour. All right. We're playing, we're paying Jamaica, because I'm gonna give you guys one, two, three, four different scenarios. We're paying Jamaica eight dollars an hour. We're paying Dominican Republic. We're paying them six dollars an hour. And we're paying the people in the Philippines. $5 an hour. Now, this is your virtual call center. This is your business. In any moment, you can say, you know what? I'm in a great mood. The company that made such and such money, I want to give them a bonus. All right. Arise has different bonuses, different incentives that they give out to the agents. Like um, some of my agents, they be shocked when their paycheck is like an extra 800 bucks. And that's because they didn't even know because they were just working. But if you work a certain number of hours, you're able to get like this bonus, like this big bonus that they do between a period of time. Right. So like it's your call center business. You make up the rules. I'll be having to ingrain this inside my students head. This is your call center. You make up the rules. One of my students, they asked me, they said, Somebody, one of my agents reached out to me and they said that you're going to be out of town between such and such and such and such. What should I do? You're the boss. <laughs> what do you want to do? Do you want to give them grace? I would give them grace. OK, unless it's like a um, constant thing that they're doing and like calling out and stuff. But, you know, they said it was an emergency, family emergency. Give them grace. Like, that's what I would do. But you the boss. What you want to do? You want to fire them? Like this, the, the ball is in your court. You are the boss. So know that this is your call center. So we're going to pay the people in the Philippines $5 an hour. All right. So we got Belize. We're paying them seven bucks an hour. We got Jamaica, $8 an hour. We got Dominican Republic, $6 an hour. We got the Philippines, $5 an hour. Right. Check this out. So now we go to the company. This is not government contracting. Government contracting, it would just be insane, all right? Government contracting, you don't have to do as much as if you were going directly to the company like I do. I truly did that because I wanted to see if I was able to do it, and I did it. Like, that was something where I tell people, if, if you're scared to do something, that's just because the enemy knows how great, how much of a blessing it's going to be when you actually do it. So for me, getting off the crutch of a rise and the dependency on a rise, spiritually, I kind of a rise my idol as an entrepreneur i'm thinking that i'm not able to go to these corporations and these companies and being able to propose to them you know what i'm saying so let's just say we go to we're going to let's think of a company let's think of a company somebody give me a company a c corp a corporation an actual company somebody throw out a company any what what, what company would you want to have a contract with 
What company would you want to have a contract with? Target. Cool. All right. So we got Target. So we got Target. We don't propose to Target that we can supply such and such amount of agents out in Belize, Philippines, Jamaica, and Dominican Republic. We will um, present to them how much we're going to pay this agent and how much we want to profit. All right. So the company says, you know, Target, they're like, all right, we're going to give you. I'm going to start on a high end and go to the low end. Yeah, I'm going to start on the, which one got the highest, I said. Jamaica got the highest. Okay, so Belize, we're just going to say $19 an hour. The company's going to pay us $19 an hour. This is how much the company is paying us, right? This is how much the company is paying. Then we got 19 minus 7. What is that? Somebody tell me. 19 minus 7, what is that? 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, $12. $12, all right? Yes, I still use my fingers. It is what it is. All right, so $12, all right? What is this, you guys? This is our profit, all right? This is what we make per agent per hour, right? So we got our Belize people making seven bucks an hour. They happy with that, trust, all right? And if you throw a bonus up in there every now and then, oh, they love you, all right? Um, you got Target paying us 19 bucks an hour. So we're paying our Belize people seven bucks an hour. We got a $12 profit that we're working with. That means $12, okay? Now let's say they're working five days a week, all right? What schedule do we wanna give them? Somebody throw out a schedule, I need a schedule. Somebody throw out a schedule that your agents are gonna be working. Eight to five, how many hours is that? Eight to five, how many hours is that? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> Hold up, y'all. <laughs> Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, that's nine hours, okay? <laughs> 13 is insane, all right? So we got $12 that we making in profit per Belize agent, all right? Per five days a week. No, the light went out. Dang. All right, we good. All right, we back. All right, so we got $12 an hour in profit, and that's nine hours, okay? Five five days a week, so nine times five, that's 45. Yeah. All right, right? <laughs> All right, ain't that 45? Nine times five? 45. I, I'm not going to second guess myself. I'm right, okay? So that's 45, so we got $12 an hour. Per agent, I just like to write stuff. Like I'm very big on um, putting stuff on paper, writing it down, ma making it plain. I think that's Habakkuk verse chapter two, verse two. It died again. It is what it is. Um, I'm gonna let it charge a little bit. It's still charging. So twelve dollars an hour per agent, and that's forty five hours that they're working times forty five hours a week. All right. So what's that? Oh, hold on. How many agents we got, y'all? How many agents we have? How many agents we have? How many agents y'all wanna have on y'all call center? A hundred, super doable. I got a hundred agents within the first 45 days of me launching my own call center. A hundred agents is nothing, so let's write it. A hundred agents times a hundred people. All right, so that means we have, somebody pull out the calculator. Somebody pull out the calculator. Somebody pull out the calculator. All right. It's your call center, Coco. You giving them a whole hour lunch? Because I'm not. A good 20, 30 minutes. They cool. 30 minutes is practical. A whole hour. You don't need a whole hour to do what? Go talk on the phone, go go cake on the phone and go, you know, be grown and 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 I don't know. You all you need is 30 minutes. All right? So, we got 100 agents. Okay? Hold on. No, no, no. We got $12 times 45. So, 12 times 45, what is that? Laurent Snowman. Five forty. Now, what's a hundred people times five forty? What's that? A 
again, princess, it's your call center. Do what you want to do. I'm not. Fifty-four thousand. Do y'all see why I'm going overseas? Do y'all see why I'm going overseas? Now, let me take the same scenario. Target pays me nineteen dollars an hour. The people in America, how much you think they want? Nineteen dollars an hour. Okay, they know they worth. They want nineteen dollars an hour. All right. Over in Belize, they happy with they they seven dollars an hour. So now I got a hundred people. All right, out in Belize. By the way, you guys, I'm gonna be in Belize in April. I'm gonna be in Belize in April, meeting my team. That's my feet on the ground out there, and also meeting the agents that I have out there in April. All right. You said we offer 19. They want 25 over, over in the States, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. So, anywho, so that's 100 agents. That's nothing. That's 100 agents. We're about to go bigger for Jamaica. All right. That's 100 agents making, and that's just an eight to five schedule. All right. Five days a week. Some of them may work seven days a week. Some of them may work more hours, okay? This is just a typical schedule that people can, you know, really just, you know, be used to, all right? Exactly. One American dollar, exactly. Exactly. You live in Belize and you want 10 bucks an hour. Well, what you bring into the table, that's, that's when that comes into play. Why should I pay you 10 bucks an hour? What skills and assets do you bring? That will make me want to pay you 10 bucks an hour. I'm not opposed to it. But why would I want to pay you $10 an hour? Because that's one thing that we're going to have to do. We're going to have to not just hand out money. You want to give your best agents, your best people the highest pay. Because I want to be fair to everybody. I want everybody to eat. Because again, the profit is crazy. I can't be greedy on the numbers. The profit is crazy. That's what me and my team was talking about the other day. The profit is crazy. We can't be greedy. The profit is going to profit regardless. And what we spending money on? What? By the way, you guys, I've never ran any promo, any ad, any advertisement in my life. Ever. It's chow time and that's just that. Let's move on. Let's go to Jamaica. That's 54000 By the way, you guys, that's a week. Do you guys see why y'all need to be on the call inside the membership tonight at 8 o'clock with Lizzie? Showing you guys how to structure your taxes, uh, file your taxes properly as an IBO, independent business owner in the telecommunications industry. Do y'all see how lucrative it can get? I don't care what nobody say. I have the best business in the world. Ain't nobody seeing me, period. <laughs> Ain't nobody seeing me when it comes to this telecommunications industry. And that's just that. I can serve people and I can make money. So I can do the Lord's work. And I can make some money on top of that. Oh, yeah. Sign me up. Sign me up. It's a no-brainer. Sign me up. All right? So... That's insane, right? So when my student was like the call center that she was working at said, oh my God, we all made 10 billion last month in sales. When she told me that, I was like, yeah. I was like, that sounds about right, you know? She was like, huh, what, well, what? I'm like, yeah, I can see that because this industry is highly lucrative. This industry is very lucrative. Very profitable, not just lucrative. Many industries, they make lots of money, but they ain't got no kind of profit. It's about the profit. What are you taking home that matters? What's going to that bank account after you don't pay all the expenses? What are you profiting? That's what matters. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, let's do Jamaica. So Jamaica, $8 an hour, all right? Jamaica's $8 an hour. So Jamaica is $8 an hour per agent. Somebody give me another schedule. I need another schedule. I 
I'm not liking y'all schedules. Three to eleven. Let's do that. All right. Let's do that. Three to eleven. Three to eleven. That's how many hours? Eight. Yeah, that's eight hours, right? So eight dollars an hour per agent. What's eight times five days a week? Forty. All right. That's forty. How many agents in Jamaica? How many people in how many um people in Jamaica we got? This video will be posted onto my YouTube for you guys to watch. Two hundred. All right, cool. Two hundred. So now we got what's forty times eight? Forty times eight, and then times two hundred. 40 times 8 times 200. <laughs> 40 times 8 times 200. I need to do some promo for this light right here. <laughs> 64,000. That's five days a week. That's one week. 64,000, that's one week. People be like, well, what's your profit out of that? Do you got to buy into some software? So do you got to buy into, no, you got the software already. You already have the software. How do I get the software, John C? That's why you need to join a membership. You get the software through me. I'm not even gatekeeping. I have the software. It's my software. Like <laughs> I have it. I can't, I'm not even gatekeeping. It's like, I have the software. I can't tell you guys where to go buy it. I, it was built out. I can't tell you guys how to like go, like it's, it's nowhere, it's, it's mine, I have it. All right, so let's do Dominican Republic. Let's move over to Dominican Republic. I want us to go a big, a big with Dominican Republic, all right? So we got Dominican Republic, we paying our agent $6 an hour per agent. Like I said, if you're in the business of serving people, this is a business for you. It's not about, oh, I don't know anything about call centers. I didn't know anything about call centers either. I serve people. I give people jobs. I give them opportunities to take back control of their time, their money, their life, so that they can make time for the things that matter most to them, so that they can get some kind of financial peace, some kind of extra income for them. That's what I do. That's what anybody that works with me will do. All right? So we got $6 an hour per agent. All right? Um, give me a schedule. Give me a schedule. Mm. Yeah. 11 and seven, I like that, Anna. Let's do 11 and seven. 11 and seven, how many hours is that? 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 8 hours, all right? So that's 8 hours. 8 times 6 is what? What's 8 times 6? Again, it's your call center. Do you want to give them vacation time? It's your call center. You make up the rules. Literally. This is your call center. 48. Now, how many agents we got in DR? I have somebody inside my membership right now. They already got 20 agents out in DR. I mean, not 200, my bad. Did I say 20 or 200? I meant 200. We're not doing 200. That's practical. Let's go bigger. All this 100, 200, I told you guys, I've hired over 1,500 agents. No promo, no ads, no marketing, and very inconsistent marketing at that. I like a thousand. I like a thousand agents. So we got a thousand agents. Come on. At this point, we should know what we're doing. We got six times 48. What is that? Six times 48. What is that? If y'all don't feel no fire inside of y'all, I don't, I, y'all need to get off the live. Ain't no way y'all see these numbers. 
The only way you would see these kind of numbers and not hop on an opportunity like this, you don't believe in yourself. And that's cool, because I'm not gonna make you believe in yourself. So if you know you don't believe in yourself, cool, stay where you at. 288 times a thousand. 288 times a thousand. <laughs> Y'all so funny, clock it. <laughs> you don't have to buy no ebook, sweetheart. Ain't no ebook out on this. Ain't no ebook out on what I teach or do. I don't have no ebook out. It's not no one and done. This is a growing industry. I'm hands on with my students. I'm actively training. All right. 288K. So do y'all see when my student came to me and was like, the company uh, last month did 10 billion. Do y'all see why I'm not really phased by that? Um, it's, it's amazing, absolutely, that's impressive. Cause you know, the only, they act like the only billionaires in the world is, is um, um, old Diddy and all these celebrities and stuff. They not showing people, they not even showing, honestly, y'all wanna know who takes over this industry? Pakistan, India. When I was doing my research, cause those of you guys that know me, I said, I'm gonna have the largest woman owned call center in the world, period. I am, and I will. Y'all looking at her like it's me. It's gonna be me. <laughs> like it's gonna be me. I'm outworking everybody. When I came out with the Arise stuff, it was hot. Arise, 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 Arise. I was just happy to show people how I was able to start a call center in the first place, because that's how I started, on Arise. But me being called to this industry, oh no. In order for me to have the largest woman on call center, you gotta get, you know, you gotta invest. So, John C., what you got to invest into? You need a software. What does Arise have that you don't? They got their own software. Okay, cool. So, you need to get your own software. God brought my software to me. He DM'd me. He DM'd me. He's actually a believer, too. And, of course, I test the spirit by the spirit just because people say they got God and all that. I don't just be all googly eyes. Oh, my God, they said God. Oh, my God. We're, we're all believers, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? But after having a Zoom meeting with him, I knew God sent him for me. Especially when you actively praying for things, you know what I'm saying? So, anywho, um, I don't be phased by this, by this, um, this arise. You got an ebook on arise. I got a whole free hour, four hour training on arise. So you don't have to get an ebook. I know you guys come on this app all day, every day. I'm recording on TikTok right now, so I can post this onto my YouTube, so I can make money off of YouTube. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm doing this. Thank you. I don't come on TikTok to sell y'all no ebook, no little $50 ebook, $100 course that y'all probably not even going to execute. No, you got to join a membership. I want to see you. I want to make sure that you're working. I have to see that you're doing what it is that I teach in real life because you're not going to come back on my name and say you got my ebook and course and you weren't able to do what it is that I do. Period. All right. So, yeah. Y'all want to learn what I do? You got to join a membership. Not only because you get hands-on access, but because this is evolving. It's like you guys are going to need support. You're, this is not something that you can just hop into and just figure it out on your own. If you can't, I, I mean, I'm not going to say nobody can't, but I can't lie. It's going to be hard. So, yeah, you need to be in a community with me where I'm able to teach and train you and make sure that you're doing what it is that I need you to be doing. I don't have an ebook out. I don't have a course out on this probably never going to post one and that's just that all right by the way you guys i'm 24 years old i'm 24 by the way let me just say that i'm a serial entrepreneur i have many businesses okay i do real estate i own a virtual call center i have a hair company i have a cleaning business all right i do coaching i'm a mentor I have a branding marketing company. I have many streams of income. Anybody on this live, have y'all ever seen me come on my live and talk about any other of my streams? Why? Why has John C never came and talked about any of her other streams? Real estate, if y'all don't know by now, everybody needs to have a stream of income in real estate. I don't need to come teach you guys on that. Oh, at the Atlanta tour, I have somebody coming to teach you guys on real estate, by the way. Um, you guys, 
if you go to my Instagram, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram to like just stay up to date, like to see, you know, more updates and stuff. But um, if you guys go to my Instagram, her name is Brittany. Closed 50 deals her first month, started with no money, all right, in wholesale real estate. She done built over a $9 million portfolio, and she's only been in this industry for two years. And when I tell y'all, when I hear her, okay, when I hear her talk, I'm like, bro, she don't even teach. She don't do nothing. I said, I want you to come speak to my people. I only vouch for people that are really doing what they do in real life because I do what I do in real life. You know what I'm saying? So Brittany, when I be hearing her talk, I'll be like, bro, you need, you need to come out. I told her, you need to work on your membership. I said, you need a membership. You need something for this kind of knowledge. So she wants to come for free, show you guys how to get into wholesale real estate. Like I said, www.startthecallcenter.com. It's free general admission. It's a free event. I made it free so people can still get the value. They can still get the information. Um, there are VIP tickets, and that VIP ticket just simply includes more access. We have a VIP dinner that night. Um, with the VIP um, package, you get um, a branded content session. You do your videos, your contracts, you do everything like on the spot, like hands on, but it doesn't take away from the value. Regardless, you're going to get the value whether you're in general admission or you get a VIP ticket. www.startthecallcenter.com. She's only coming to Atlanta, um, Philly, New York, and D.C. The other cities, Houston, Miami, um, Chicago, Cleveland, she's not going to be in those cities. So only Atlanta, Philly, New York, and D.C. she'll be coming to. www.startthecallcenter.com. All right. Um, anywho, let's hop over to Philippine. This is the last one, Philippine. And then I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to let y'all do what y'all do. All right. I done told y'all. I just like to tell people how industries are lucrative, how you can make money into them. Um, outside of somebody just trying to sell an ebook or a course. Regardless of not if you're in a membership or not, I just know you're not going to learn this, period. You're not. You're not going to learn it. And I stand on that. Um, Philippine, um, Philippine people, we paying $5 an hour. Ooh. Philippine people, we paying $5 an hour. All right? Per agent. Then we got how many? Give me. I need a schedule. I need a schedule. If you're confused, just wait, baby girl. Rewatch this live when it's posted to my YouTube channel if you're confused. Because I tell people where there's confusion, there's the enemy. So if you're feeling confused, nothing in your mind is happening with God. It's nothing but the enemy in your head right now. Because God is clarity, the enemy is confusion. If you have clarity on this live, type clarity for me. If you have clarity on this live, type clarity for me. I'm just trying to see something real quick. If you have clarity, type clarity on this live. God is not the author of chaos or confusion. Absolutely. If you have clarity, type clarity on this live. Yeah. Clarity. Clarity. You want to know why? I know. I, I, I'm, I'm giving you guys clarity. But before I even go live, I pray for one. Let's just start there. I pray for negative people. I pray for their minds. I pray for their tongues. I pray for my mouth, okay, because I'm human. And, you know, my eyes start twitching. And then I have to remember I'm a woman of faith. I'm a woman of God. I can't snap like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, I pray before I go on any live. And anything that comes out of my mouth, I tell God, take control of my tongue. Don't let nothing flow from my words. I mean, don't let nothing flow from my tongue that is not of you. I don't want to just be speaking to be speaking. By the way, you guys, I'm a marketplace minister. Okay. My first purpose and passion is to serve the Lord. My second purpose and passion is to serve people. All right. And like I say, I serve people. So God serves me. All right. I may not look like it on the outside. That was prophesied to me too. People going to look at you from the outward appearance. But God is going to always look at your heart. And it's when you open your mouth, they're going to be shocked. 24 years old, you talking like that? Absolutely. It's wisdom. It's grace. It's God. Glory to God on that. All right. So we got $5 per hour per agent. Give me another schedule, you guys. Give me, give me another schedule, you guys. I need another schedule. My bad. I, I, I just want to make sure everybody had clarity. That's all I wanted. All right. <laughs> I see y'all signing up for the tour, too. I can't wait to see y'all. Yeah. 
10 to 6. All right, let's do 10 to 6. So you got 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 hours. Dang, let's just, can we do 10 to 7? I want a 9. I want a 9, okay? I want, I want 9 people, all right? I mean, I want, I want 9 hours. <laughs> we keep doing 8. You know what? We'll stick to 8. We'll stick to 8. So nobody can be, because we have been going 8 down the board. So we got 8 times 5. What is that? 8 times 5. What is that? 40. So that's 40. No, so that means we already, we already did that then. Oh, my bad. We got five times, yeah, eight hours. Yeah, five, five times eight, that's 40 hours. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, y'all. I changed my mind just that quick. I changed my mind, y'all. I want to do something different. A lot of people tell me I look like Portia. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. And I actually follow her because I think she's a beautiful woman. Um, 40 hours. Oh, hold on. I need to clock this comment right quick. Put me on to some I don't know. 40 hours a week is legal in Jamaica. Anything above that is overtime. Got you. Seven to seven. Okay, cool. Seven to seven, Janet. That's what we're going to run with. That's 12 hours, right? Ain't that 12? Yes. I'm on live. That's $7 an hour. I mean, seven, Um, that's, that's 12. 12 times five, what's that? 60, right? That's 60 hours, right? Oh, by the way, let me check the battery. We good on battery, I'm about to wrap it up, all right? We got 60 hours. It's me turning on the light and turning off the light. Woo, there we go. God said, let there be light. And let there be light, there shall be. All right, so we got 60 times five, what's that? What's 60 times five? How many agents we got? My bad, how many agents we got? How many agents we got? Okay, it don't got to be that bright. Come on now. <laughs> it don't got to be that bright. Um, got me feeling like Michael Jackson over here. <laughs> Trying to see a number I'm, I'm liking. Thank you. Fifteen hundred. I like that. Let's do fifteen hundred. All right. So now, sixty times five times fifteen hundred. What is that? Sixty times five times fifteen hundred. What is that? Sixty times five times fifteen hundred. What is that? <laughs> Jaycon, they hear your comment, but I see it. <laughs> 450K. A week. <laughs> I'm going to get this money. And I'm about to end this live. I'm going to get this money, okay? Like I've been having telecommunications. Your girl has never been overseas up until now. All right. The reason why I said I had to see Piffin one day, I said, Johnsy, you're leaving money on the table. Ooh, this is crazy, you guys. When I was sitting on the couch, I told myself, I said, you're leaving money on the table. All right. And during that time, I was just writing stuff out. And I'm like, that, that was the time when I was telling you guys, I was like, God, I know you called me to this industry. Like, I, I got to figure out a way to capitalize, like maximize telecommunications as a whole. I'm not just trying to be stuck on the Arise platform. I know it's bigger than the Arise platform. See, people, they, they get on the Arise platform or they got my ebook for Arise or they brought a course in the past when I was selling them on Arise. And they, they get happy too lucky. They get too lucky too happy with it. All right. Everybody want to teach on Arise. That's cool. I love it. However, I was thinking bigger than Arise. The reason why I got a free four hour training on how to start your virtual class on Arise is because I don't care. Go, go watch the training. Go run the play. Just gave y'all a whole business. Go do it. It's up to y'all to execute. The information is on my YouTube channel. Link in my profile. But I said, you know what, Johnsy? You playing small. You leaving money on the table. 
you don't have a bigger profit out here in the States, you need to figure out how to start your call center overseas. When I tell y'all God sent me every single person I needed, it's the reason why I have Belize. It's the reason why I have Dominican Republic. It's the reason why I have Jamaica. And it's the reason why I have the Philippines. These are the four countries that God sent somebody to me, found me either off of YouTube or just been studying me um, or either live out there in that country, reached out to me and said, hey, we want to partner with you. We want to be able to give you our software to do X, Y, and Z. We know you can get the agents. We know you can get the contracts. I was like, well, my only dilemma is that I'm on the Rise platform. But when people started reaching out to me, it was like, they got everything that I need. I just got to figure out how to get the contracts. So I took my, my leap of faith, reaching out to this company. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to reach out to them. And it's so ironic. You guys probably, I can, again, I, I signed an NDA, so I can't say nothing. But you guys probably seen me slick post it, but then post it. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably, ooh, <laughs> you probably seen that. All right. However, hold on. Cause I got to get ready for our, um, we have a membership call tonight at eight. Okay. We're back. We're back. All right, cool. All right. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Reached out to the company, the company, they weren't really filling the numbers. Cause I, I, I went out there, you know, I think big, I tell people you ask for the, the as much as you can and they got to come back and tell me no, you know what I'm saying? And even when they came back and told me, no, I prayed, I said, God, listen, mm mm. I don't like the word no. For all the promises of God are yes and amen. So you're not going to tell me no. I'm going to get a yes, okay? So shot back out a different number for them that would still be practical where I can make some profit margin and still be able to just say I got a contract. I know if I could secure one contract, oh, the sky is not the limit for John C. If you know, then you know me, all right? So ended up going back and forth with them for about three weeks, got the numbers back, approval, sign NDA, sign contract. We're in a binding contract, just like real estate. We're in a binding contract now. We're locked in. All right. I have a contract now in hand already. Government contract. My um, guy Hamza, he had um, sent me a government contract for the Veterans Affairs Department for the U.S. Army. Just simply answering questions, veteran type questions. Probably um, my dad is a veteran. He was in the army. Probably just need to renew his. Um, he probably lost his card. My dad called one day just to get his um, card replaced. You know what I'm saying? That was a hundred and sixty million dollar contract. Now the thing with government contracts, they don't pay you out a hundred and sixty million dollars. All right. They don't pay you out 160 mil. They will give you a term and over that term of the contract is how they pay you out. So if you got a four year contract, $160 million, then they will break that up per month and they'll wire you like, they'll break it up over that four years and they'll wire you the um, money. That's how the government contracts work. However, even that is a little bit of a restriction for me. I think big, okay? So yes, inside of my membership, you guys are gonna learn about the whole um, government contracting because that is another resource way we're not leaving no money on the table yes you guys are going to learn how to leverage a rise to your ability yes you guys are going to learn how to, to propose to these different corporations and your guys are going to have the option to subcontract with me that's the t right there so even if you're like john c i just i don't I'm, i don't think that i can just go to a corporation and a fortune 500 corporation, you know what I'm saying? And just propose, maybe you ain't got the credentials. You ain't got the portfolio. But when I asked one of my good friends, I said, so listen, I said, would I be able to subcontract? Like if I got like another call center, could I subcontract them even in another country, even in another country? This is how, this is what even sparked the whole Belize Jamaican stuff. This was my question. If you guys watched the um, video on my YouTube channel, this is the question, the question that I asked. I said, so can I, I said, would I be able to um, subcontract people in other countries? Because I was just trying to get a, a, um, a understanding of like how I can get off of a rise. So I was like, okay, I can't do um, a rise in other countries, but if I was able to get a contract, would I be able to subcontract with people in different countries? And when they told me yes, because they're doing business with me, they're doing business with me. They don't care about where I get my agents from. You know what I'm saying? They don't care about me using my students agents if I want to subcontract to them because I just want to give opportunity. Like I said, I'm not going after one contract. I'm not going after two. I'm not going after three. All right. We're going after multiple. We're going after dozens. When I was on the call with my team other day, I said, we're going for dozens, 10 contracts in hand. We need that by April. Okay, so you guys, um, 
the subcontracting, I think I answered your question, even though I didn't even read it until now. That's how subcontracting works. I get the contract, I subcontract your company, you just supply the agents. So basically we sign another contract where I'm now, my company is um, in contract with your company and we come into an agreement of what I'm gonna pay out to your agents and what you're gonna make in profit. That's how we're gonna subcontract. Not only are we gonna subcontract with, um, with just me going to these corporations like I am, but we're gonna subcontract with the government contracts as well. Meaning whatever government contracts that I get, I can get a government contract that say we need a 50,000 people. 25,000 people, 10,000 people within two weeks. And I'm like, okay, I got over a hundred students. I know for a fact, I can get some of their agents, some of their agents, some of their agents, and then I subcontract. And then we all get a piece of the pie. Any questions? Absolutely start with a rise, start with a rise. Don't count a rise out. <laughs> Don't count a rise out. So you guys, my phone, hold on. And I don't know what else to say. This video will be posted on YouTube, by the way. This video will be on YouTube so you guys can watch um, on YouTube. I think it's so crazy that TikTok keep blocking um, your comment of you keep asking, am I hiring? I am so glad that they're blocking your comment. It's like walking inside of a nail salon asking to get your hair done. Everybody up in there is doing nails right now. They probably do offer hair services in the back, but you're barging in talking about hair. No. No. <laughs> okay. You ready to serve. That's the mindset I like. That's the mindset that I want. So you guys missed the meeting for this month. Y'all already missed it. The meeting was last Friday, um, but that meeting is inside the group. But I'm very active. My students will tell y'all that. Every single day I'm inside that group, communicating whatever questions they got, making sure they're taken care of. to hold it. If you're just now joining, I'm going to make sure that you guys get to see this live on um, my YouTube channel. Make sure you guys are um, subscribed to my YouTube channel. He said I'm getting dizzy. Because <laughs> um, I'm going to make sure that I put this in the YouTube channel. You're going to subscribe, just stop being mean. You're the second person to tell me I'm mean. <sighs> I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I'm not. I'm very blatant and straight to the point. But it's always rooted in love. And I think people that know my spirit, they, you know, they my people. I know I'm not mean. One thing about me, I'm very rooted in my identity. Like I am not, like I'm not soft at all. And it's not that type of soft, I mean, it's not that type of like, I'm like I'm not saying that because I've been hurt or like I don't put up a wall. No, my guard is absolutely down, but I'm very discerning too, I'm very discerning. So I know when certain people ask questions, I can tell what spirit is rooted in. I can tell if they're asking to cause chaos. I can tell if they're asking to cause confusion. I know exactly what the source is coming from and I know how to rebuke it. And I'm very blatant when I know that I'm dealing with a spirit. I'm very blatant. Because it's not that, um, I tell people where there's a spirit of offense, there's a spirit of truth 
You're only offended because the truth hurts. All right. It's not always somebody being negative, but you said I'm mean. I don't think I'm mean. <laughs> nah, I don't think I know I'm not mean. Mean people not on this live, putting people on. Mean people not doing that. Mean people not serving people. Mean people not hiring over 1,500 people for their virtual call center. Mean people not putting out a four hour training for you guys to go learn and start a business today, tonight, with no money, with no startup costs. Mean people not praying for y'all. Mean people don't care about y'all. Mean people not, they, they not like that. So can't nobody tell me I'm mean. Absolutely. And it's all good. I had a girl on my live um, yesterday. That's the same thing she said. You're very pretty, but you look mean. I said, hmm, interesting. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right, you guys. So, with that being said, I'm going to make sure you guys get this on YouTube if you're just now joining. Um, <sighs> Being kind and nice are two different things. By the way, Pajama Prophets, I told her yesterday I love her name. Pajama Prophets is so dope. Oh, yeah, the membership. Let's stay focused on what matters, all right? And Brianna, you've been on my live for about 30 minutes, right? You've been on my live for about 30 minutes. And you want me to just jump to the chase. If you're that type of person that just got money to just go buy into anything and everything, you don't care what it is that I have to say, I like to explain to people what I'm doing because I don't need just anybody a part of what I'm doing. I don't need your money. I don't need anybody just joining my membership. I'm in the business of serving people. And I suggest if you're trying to work with John C or work with me, you need to be in the business of serving people. You need to be in the business of helping people in this telecommunications industry by providing work from home opportunities. So no, you're not going to, every live is different. You're not going to come on this live and I'm just going to be selling you guys something. Because when I scroll on TikTok, yeah, that's, that really is all I see nowadays. Buy my ebook, buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that, buy this. No, I want you guys to know what I do in real life. And I want you guys to decide if you want to do what it is that I do, if not better. All right. So servant leader. I love that. You said you Latin and your expressions come off as being mean, but you're just passionate when you express yourself. Very passionate. You got to be passionate. So let's talk about the membership. All right. Let's talk about the membership. Um, the membership is 99 bucks a month or you can pay the whole year off for 600. All right. It's 99 bucks a month or you can pay a whole year off for 600. Meaning you could pay $99 a month. Like I tell people, I don't care. You guys got Netflix, Hulu, um, Uber Eat Money, DoorDash, hair money, nail money, haircut money. Y'all need to put aside expenses, not only for self-care, but for self-development, to learn a skill, to learn, learn a stream of income. You don't have 99 bucks a month. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. All right. Um, if you guys want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, my mentorships are steep. My mentorships start at 5K and go up to 60K, all right? So the reason why I came out with a membership is because I know everybody ain't just got 5K and 60K. And this membership is new, by the way. This is something me and my team just launched two weeks ago. It hasn't even been open a month, and I'm already about to close it because we're already learning so much inside the membership that it's not gonna make sense for new people to join after a while because it's like jumping into the middle of a semester while all the other students are learning. You're gonna be behind and we're moving forward. I don't got time to play catch up, all right? So 
the membership is a more affordable way for you guys to still get the support that you need from me, to still get the teachings and trainings that you need. And know this membership is not only for a rise. I created this membership to teach what it is that I do now, which is show you how to start on a rise, leverage your virtual call center in general for contracts and government contracts. All right. That is what the membership is for. I don't have an ebook out on that. I don't have a course out on that. The only thing that's out there is my membership at 99 bucks a month or $600 for the whole year. All right? My one-on-one -on -one mentorships, like I said, it's steep. But if you balling, because a lot of y'all got y'all taxes today, I signed on a mentee today. Actually, she lives in Washington, D.C. And she's coming with me to Belize. I offered her, um, I offer her that. So April 19th through the 21st, she's gonna be out there in Belize with me, meeting the agents that not only I will be hiring, but she will be hiring as well. All right. Um, closing the membership and opening it, I don't know. I don't know how I wanna do it. I don't really have the, the answers to that just yet. I just know once I get started, it's just not gonna make sense for like new people to join. It's like, I think I will only offer it to like my mentees, like that sign up for my mentorship. So I feel like it'll just be like a, you snooze, you lose type situation. <laughs> Telecommunications, customer service, yeah. Every contract is different though. You can be in tech, tech department, customer service department, sales department, every single um, contract is different. It has different stipulations. That's another reason why I'm doing this membership. Every contract is different. So I can't put an ebook out on how to get a contract when you may get a contract that is, is completely got different terms than the contract that you got. Now you suck, you don't know what you're doing. You're gonna need some assistance. I am not sure about Grenada starting a call center out there, but I will ask my team about it. I'm just getting started, y'all. Jamaica, Belize, Philippines, Dominican Republic, that's just one of many, all right? That's just one of many countries. Well, that's just four of many countries, my bad. You said, I'm doing what your old job used to do, but they're run by a corporation. Yeah, like my student said, um, the call center that she was working at managing um, made 10 billion last month, 10 billion. But after doing the numbers tonight, y'all can see how that's like practical. Y'all can see how that's doable. Y'all can see how that's, that's not gonna take a long time to achieve in this telecommunications industry. I'm really mad that I never thought to do what it is that I'm doing now, but it's all good because I'm just getting started. So I'm gonna let you guys go. What time is it? Because we got our call at eight. I, I seen some of you guys said that you're jo you joined the membership. Make sure that you request to join the group after you submit your payment um, so that you can be let inside the group because we do have a call tonight at eight on how to structure your um, corporation and file your taxes. Because again, we just did numbers. I think we did, what, what was that, 288, 288,000 a week off of paying our agents $5 an hour in Dominican Republic. No, Philippine, my bad, $5 an hour, a thousand agents out there working for us five days a week at, what was that, eight hours? $288,000 a week. Y'all can understand how this can get very crazy when it comes to taxes. So that's what we're gonna be talking about on, um, that's what we're gonna be talking about on our call today inside the membership. The membership is 99 bucks a month for the remainder of 2024 or 600 for the rest of the year. Yeah, them taxes can get crazy, right? My opinion on freight brokers, are you talking about like truck brokers? Is that what you're asking? Absolutely, it's cheaper to pay for the rest of the year rather than 99 bucks a month. It's kind of like when you sign up for a subscription, you know how they actually do you want to do monthly? 
for Wix. Anybody ever use Wix? You know, if you pay for up to the year, they give you a better discount. That's all it is. Um, truck brokers. I'm not sure about that, but it's kind of funny you asked because I had somebody reach out to me um, today to speak at my um, event in Atlanta and they do box trucking. But I was telling him if we can find out a way that I could make that virtual somehow, um, then I'll be interested. But I'm strictly like my lane is telecommunications, anything when it comes to virtual money. I don't want to get, you know, the real estate was just she's just so knowledgeable in it. You can't go wrong with real estate. We're in real estate. We live in real estate. Y'all live in real estate. I'm pretty sure y'all watching me in some piece of real estate. Everybody needs to have some sort of income in real estate, whether it's wholesale, whether you get your realtor's license, whether you're an investor, um, whatever that you decide to do. So that's why I have her coming to speak. But I just didn't want it to make it. OK, why is somebody here speaking on box trucks like that has nothing to do with call centers, you know? So um, maybe in the near future, I'll look more into that if something um if an opportunity presents itself where I can make it virtual, like maybe um, the box trucks people like dispatching, they need a system online and they need people to like um, communicate to each other that are like dropping off packages. So I don't know, like somehow I can make it into telecommunications. Then I would be interested in that. Um, I don't teach how to create your website in the membership. However, we do websites for a hundred bucks for call centers, specifically for call centers, so. Are there, are these mainly pitched to larger companies for customer service? That's a really good question. So me, yes, I pitch to big corporations because I like big money, all right? However, it's so funny that you just said that. This is just confirmation. Um. I have another opportunity, okay, where I can pitch to smaller businesses and I wouldn't charge them by the hour, I would charge them by the minute. <laughs> this is something that um, I said in my membership, they're gonna be able to learn, but it's something that I'm not actively teaching right now. Like they haven't even learned that, but that is a way that you can leverage in this telecommunications industry, not just big corporations, but targeting the small and like mid companies. By the way, you guys, a small company is any company that has less than 29 to 49 employees. I mean, 49 employees, all right? And they make less than 25 mil a year. That's a small company. That's a small business, by the way. So if you make less than 25 mil a year and you're a minority, anybody that's not a white man is considered minority. Even a white woman is a minority. You're considered a small business. This is why the government do business with us. Small businesses. You've been a trucker for eight years and thinking of getting into it because it's bad for drivers. Um, if you've been a trucker, I definitely think that... Um, you should do that. I definitely think you should consider getting into that. Many truckers do. That's how they start off. They start and they leverage. You're going to have to um, watch the YouTube video, Ashley. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that question, Annie. You trying to get me caught up in my NDA? Yeah, it's Zoom calls inside the membership, yeah. That's what we're about to hop on at 8 o'clock. You're suing the next person that steals your money on this app because you're just now joining and not being told what it is that's being sold. So how is somebody stealing your money? Hmm, interesting. Oh yeah, I reply to my comments. Why not? Why not reply to y'all? I reply to all of y'all. Mm, 
so no more questions you guys this video will be posted on youtube ashley if you're interested <laughs> um you can go rewatch the replay of this live and learn everything that you may want to know um what's your idea eve i'm not hiring simi i'm not hiring <laughs> i'm not hiring okay that's why you're still asking because i keep saying it you are up front you just got bamboozled by someone selling the course dang selling the course for what period and that's just that on um, the 600 hundred dollar membership because you're paying membership is not my mentorship my mentorships are thousands of dollars so the 600 hundred dollar membership is um it has everything that i talked about on this live subcontracting contracting arise like just call center telecommunications period to learn how to start call centers in other countries even on the rise platform that's what you will be joining the membership for 